wealth within. They gave me that feeling of trust. What you learned in the course was just mind-blowing. Amazing. It was phenomenal. It opens your mind up and makes you realise you don't know what you don't know. I've got the tools now. 100% worth it. Definitely get educated. Hello and welcome to Wealth Within's weekly hot stock tips. I'm Dale Gillen, the Chief Analyst here at Wealth Within. We're Australia's most trusted stock market educators. Now every Tuesday night you can see me live on the Australian Stock Market Show, live on YouTube alongside two amazing professional traders, Janine Cox and Pedro Banyales. Our goal is to help you understand what it takes to be a great trader. Now in the show we'll answer your most important questions around the stock market, cover lots of great stocks so you're more informed and a better trader. Today we unveil what's hot and what's not for you our viewers. Today I'm on my own as Phil who normally joins me is having some well earned time off. But that's okay, we'll have him back next week but I'm back in the chair. Enough of me waffling on, let's get straight into it. On your screen right now is a watch list of the top 200 stocks. Now as you can see there, lots of sea of green through there but we saw obviously financials was the big sector that moved last week but energy and materials wasn't a very good sector and obviously real estate uh, was a good sector last week and so was information technology and you can see nanosonics up 10.22 charter, charter hall up six 7.66 smart group up 6.37 and calcium group up 6.12 here's mervac up high you can see here banks anz up four and a half macquarie up 4.4 going down you'll see qbe 3.17 asx 3.7 IAG up 2.91, Combank up $2.85, Westpac up $2, not $2.85, 2.85% and Westpac up 2.75%. I still think financials are going to keep moving over the next couple of months. I do need, um, and what I've been talking about on my stock market report that I do for TalkingWealth.com every single Monday, I still think we need to see energy and specifically materials turn around and stop falling and start to move up again. And if I do think financials are going to keep moving up and the warlords, if they, if they do that, if materials and energy turn around and stop falling away and start to move up a little bit, our market will be bullish for a few more months. But as I've said a few times, we are really, really looking at the, the quadrant these stocks are in and whether they're what sector they're in and which direction they're actually going through. So at the moment, we do really want to look at that. I want to show you another one we do here, and this is like the quadrant change. And so there's another same variation of what we call the RRG chart. And on this side here, on the right-hand side, that's a relative rotation graph that we use to look at. This. So all these stocks on here, let me just click that. These are the top 100 stocks on the Australian market, but it shows us what stocks we should be looking at. Again, which is something we cover on, uh, and I've just covered I cover this on my Monday stock market report for TalkingWealth.com and I look at this top 100 and we find stocks um, and we look at stocks in sectors to find stocks to buy uh, and so that uh, people can actually trade better and know stocks which have momentum. But this chart here is actually showing me what quadrant they were in. So if you can see here, leading is the top right, weakening is the bottom right, um, lagging is that bottom left and improving is the top left through there. So we can see what quadrant it's in and whether it's changed. So we can look at that and know when a stock has moved from one quadrant to another. So some of these quadrants are more bullish, some are more bearish, but it's showing us what stocks we should be putting on our watch list to buy and which we should be looking at selling. So I won't sort of go through all this, but obviously it says here that all this false means none of these stocks in here in the false bit change their quadrant. But I do want to get into our stocks for the week. But anyway, so what is hot in the market this week? Well, on your screen right now is my hot stock tip for the week, which is Sims Metal. And it has a stock ticker code of SGM. Now on your screen on the left is the monthly chart. On the right is the weekly chart that we can see with Sims Metal. And I'll just bring up that monthly chart. And you can see it's all-time highs way back there in 2008 and came down to this big low back at uh, where the start of COVID or the COVID meltdown was um, back in March 2020. And since then, it's gone quite nicely bullish right through up until April 2022. And that was a big, big, nice move. And if I use my little tool here, you'll show you how much that is. You can see the move was 313.04%. So, and that, if I use another tool, you can tell uh, if I click on that, you can see that was 108 weeks it took to get to that point. If we click on that point, you can see here we've had 121 weeks falling, uh, 122 for uh, sorry, 121 months, 
So 121 weeks falling, um, plus last week 122 weeks. So it's fallen further in time than it took to rise. But if you see the fall, it didn't fall as much. So we only fell, if I get it on the right thing, you can see there 57.5%. So what it rose in time and price through here, it didn't fall in the same time frame. So therefore what we can see is price is less bearish and time um, is on our side at the moment too. So hopefully what we might be seeing or what I'm looking at is maybe we might be getting a, this stock um, really taking off because it's not unusual. If I get rid of some of this, uh, it's not unusual for a stock to look bearish coming out of a big major low. And you can see here, as I said, its high was 2008 and obviously its low was 2020. So it's not unusual when you're coming off this, let me get rid of here, is that we see a bearish move down after such a long move up. And what I mean by that is if I use the trend arrow, a bullish market is a longer rise up and a shorter rise down. That's what a bullish market or stock is. A bearish one is a little rise up and a longer fall down. Now, when you see a big long move like this, quite often the first move up looks more bearish, which means it spends more time falling away than rising. But at the moment, it hasn't fallen right down to this low or been really bearish. So because of that time, now if we start to find some support, we could be turning into this sort of scenario rather than the other scenario where it's more a little bit less time up, more time down. So that's what I'm looking for at the moment. And you can see here, this level here, these $10.76 levels, a very, very strong support level for the stock, partly because you can see there, that's the low of the um, GFC low. Uh, the, uh, they've got November 2008, big strong point, but it's hit up and around all of that fan support and resistance right across it through here and more recently, uh, that low there basically in 2022. It's dropped below it, but have a look at the bars. This is still on the monthly chart. It dropped below it, very indecisive, opened here, pushed down and then traded right above it. Uh, so far since September, we're only one week into September. This is not giving us any indication. It opened just above it. So if we see the bar right up in here, trading above that high through there um, in at $11.35 from August, it might be okay. We might be finding some support, but let's go and have a look at the weekly chart. Now this is a little bit more higher risk as a trade, although it is a good stock, Sims Metal, it's a great stock. You can see the downward move that we've had a low close two weeks ago and a low close last week. Volume's dropped right off, very strong volume on here. It's crossing above a trend line at the moment, hasn't given us a rule, but if we see a move like this, that's a buy to me. Uh, if we still see if it breaks through that high through here um, at $11.34, especially if it closes twice above that line, that's a buy to me. I like this stock at the moment, but remember it, it, is, it will be slightly higher risk because of such a big fall, but I don't think it's too bad at the moment. And as long as you have a stop loss on it, um, you'll be doing okay. So that move was 17%. You'd easily get that. The fall down into there was only about 7.5%. So once if you get a buy signal up there, you're risking not a lot of money here because if you use that low there at $10.54 as your exit strategy or stop loss, um, it's a very low risk for a good return because it's a two to one return. If we do get another 17 to 20% rise, risking 7% is a pretty good um, risk return ratio but I think if we do get above that line I think we could be getting a hell of a lot more return than that and it obviously from that line there up to that next peak is 12 and a half percent if we keep going up from there to that next peak you can see over 30 percent and, and to this sort of where the trend line started we're looking at nearly 40 percent right up to that level so I think anything's possible at the moment I do like this stock at the moment and if we see some volume increasing on a move up then that's a really good signal for me for being a buy well that is it for my hot stock tip now before I move into this week's uh, stock that should make you proceed with caution I want to ask yourself what do you feel is stopping you from achieving your trading goals think about it now think about it if you could fix that what would it be worth to you? To find out how you can be a better trader, give our team of traders here at Wealth Within a call on 92909999 or you can visit wealthwithin.com.au. Now onto my cautionary stock for the week, which is A2 Milk and the stock ticket code is A2M. 
On your screen is the monthly chart on the left and the, the weekly chart on the right as per normal. And you can see, I've got a few different things on the chart at the moment, looking at that uh, monthly chart there, you can see here um, how the, we've got that, it moved up into that high in May 2024, from about December, November, December. And I remember I was on the Money Magazine um, podcast, Friends With Money, and I was telling them around December in here, I'd said to them, A2 milk. and um, I don't think they actually believed me that I thought it was really, really good. So it was my tip back in December and it rose very, very well up 100% as you can see there, hitting that uh, resistance level across here. So that was those previous highs back from um, July 2021 and in October 21, up around that $7.40 odd level. And then obviously you hit it again there in January $7.14. So it's hit that more recently. Um, to provide some resistance. So it's not unusual, it found some resistance there. This was a bit of a surprise. Obviously, this is the monthly chart, that's August. Obviously, you can see the huge range $1.88 on a stock that was $7.22. So it was a big move down. And as you can see, I've measured the distance between the low and the high, and it's fallen around 50%. And this is really significant at the moment. If it does break below that, then this thing will be going down to somewhere probably in that $4.00 below, definitely below $5, probably around maybe $4.50, it'll start to head down at the moment. But again, this last bar is only one week of September, so we do need to be careful of that. But at the moment, um, if this turns around here and starts to move up, I think we've got another 100% rise. And if we do have another 100% rise, and I'll show you where it could be, is if we do that, and you can see here, there's some huge gains back up to, like, I won't put the whole thing in, but that's a huge gain that we can get from this stock. But depending on where we get a buy signal from, if we get it down here and doing 100% from somewhere down around here, let's say, you can see there's some pretty big upside on this stock at the moment uh, if we do get it. But right now it isn't in a cautionary point uh, that I really want to stress to you because you don't want to get it just because it's here. We want to see, number one thing in trading the market is get direction first, look at strength, and then trade with good rules to entry and exit. All too often I see traders buy something because they think it's hit a support level or they exit it because it's hit a resistance level rather than understanding direction and strength. And this is why I'm talking about or what I just mentioned a minute ago is what do you, what do you feel you're missing in your trading? We can fix that for you and help you be a better trader and trade on better rules so you have much more control. So let's have a quick look at this and we can see here um, interesting thing is on the 16th of August, it announced a settlement of various matters of dispute and the market was going up. Now, you would have think that was great news, um, but that 16th of August was pretty much the last bar on that actual the 16th of August on the Friday. But then the Monday it opened up and it gapped right down even after the good news. And this was a huge big gap. But then on the 19th of August, it released its financial 2024 results in its annual report. Go and have a look at this. And it didn't go up. And yet that annual report, I was reading it and I went, wow, this looks all right. So that's so to me, the market's overreacted here. And this is why I do like this stock, but it is very, very cautionary at the moment. It's not giving us a buy. It could be if you are in it, you should have already sold it anyway. But if you're not in it, uh, make sure that you do have a good look at it and then make sure you've got some solid entry um, rules around getting into that stock. But that is it for A2 Milk. Well, lastly, what's not hot in the stock market this week? Well, Domino's Pizza again, it's stock ticker code DMP. So let's get into the charts right now. Now on the left is a monthly chart, weekly on the right, and you can see here, this stock is just bearish. Uh, and if I just bring up that monthly chart, you can see here from its all time high there, where as you can see it's $167.15 back in September 20th, 21. It's fallen through 75%. It felt a bit of support there of 75% of that figure. So if you type in 16715 and type in 75% of that, you'll get 4178. It's heading for 90%. That's pretty much what I can say. And that will probably pull it up. But at the moment, there's, you know, I don't know whether you like their pizzas or not, but the market doesn't like Domino's. Um, and it is going south. And this is, if they break through 75% of their all-time high, they're heading for 90. It's pretty much... 8, 90%, probably closer to 90% certainty that it'll hit that. It could go lower, but most likely it'll find some support there. And if it does, just watch for it, put it on your watch list, but don't buy it straight away because you could be buying a falling knife um, on the stock. But I actually, you know, to me, 
this one is to avoid. Don't try and buy it because it's cheap, which is a lot of, I see a lot of retail traders do that. They, the biggest mistake they buy is they buy something because it's cheap. And you can see a little move up here. They would have bought it here thinking it's cheap. And now my guess is it's going to blow below that low of $28.78 and go further. Although, and you can see last week it tried to push up and push back down again. So at the moment, be very, very cautious on this stock. Well, you know, we've given you some great stocks and, you know, obviously we're looking at, um, you know, Sims Metal for our hot buy or hot stock for this week. So do watch out for that one because that will do very, very well. But if you do want a good um, understanding of the market and of where it's going and where it's heading, maybe check out our, our website, talkingwealth.com and check out uh, the market app that Phil and I do every single week with giving you lots of hot stock tips. Um, and helping you understand the market for the better. But anyway, thanks for watching this edition of Wealth Within's Weekly Hot Stock Tips. Now remember to tune in to live to the Australian Stock Market Show on YouTube. It's from 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Time every single Tuesday night. Now to find us, just type Wealth Within Live into the YouTube search. Now remember to have your phone ready to call in live to speak to us so we can answer your most burning questions. The number is 0392909 double eight or if you prefer you can email into the show right now by sending your questions to info at wealthwithin.com.au don't wait when you finish this video type your email send it in watch us on tuesday night now i do hope you've enjoyed today's episode i look forward to chatting with you or chatting with everybody tomorrow night on the live australian stock market show on youtube but for now goodbye good luck and good trading